patient with the process. It's a very long process. It's very tedious. Lots of information requests, but um, it's all for good reason, and it's all because carrying it over safely and securely into the online world. I'm here with John Friedberg. He is the CEO of Pokership Enterprises the first affiliate to be licensed in Nevada and in fact the United States. So congratulations, John. Thank you very much, Rebecca. So tell me, what is your background in the affiliate industry? I've been a poker player for many years. I've been an entrepreneur, business person for a number of years as well. So um, the affiliate world is a little bit new to me personally, but the gaming world certainly is not. Oh, tell me a bit about your poker background. Well, I started playing poker um, in college um, and uh, just sort of played recreationally as a hobby for um, a number of years and um, there was a point when I was ready to take some time off of working and I moved to Las Vegas. I played poker professionally for a couple of years while I still consulted in the business world and um, actually won a World Series of Poker event in 2006 Ooh. and um, now here I am back in the, um, back in the business world um, running Poker Trip Enterprises. Okay, so the background from Poker Trip Enterprises, when did you take over these sites? About last April of 2011, um, just before Black Friday actually, I had um, come to an agreement with the previous owner of All Vegas Poker. So at present, these two sites are working with the poker rooms around the United States, is that right? That's right. So why did you decide to apply for an online affiliate license? Well, I guess to sum it up best, we are currently a, um, a very popular destination for information on where to play land-based poker and it just seemed like a natural expansion for us to move into the online world where we're already sort of the hub where people come to find out where to play in Las Vegas and elsewhere and um, with the online gaming world coming to Nevada and hopefully other areas as well here in the US soon um, it just seemed like a natural fit for us. Alright so tell me about the process <laughs> <laughs> of actually getting this license. It was, um, it was a very timely process. Um, there was a lot of paperwork, um, you know, a lot of work involved in it. The whole process from, from the day we filed took about seven months. And then there was another, I don't know, four to six weeks of preparing all the materials prior to that. Obviously tons of signatures, lots of application stuff, but also, you know, bank statements, um, financial transactions, real estate transactions, involvement in any trusts, um, any other companies, uh, information on you know every shareholder and their spouses. It's just a very, very thorough um, professional and personal and criminal and employment and financial background check for um, myself and anybody else that's, that's involved in the company. So it's pretty extensive. I mean, it, it's not necessarily hard work per se. There's just a lot of information gathering and copying and writing explanation of the business ideas, the financials, the, you know, any explanation of anything that went on in the past. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> well, so since the Nevada market, the online gambling market, is, it's really a gray area. We don't know how much money is going to be generated. We don't know what's going to happen. What made you decide to actually go through that seven months of pain and paperwork mm -hmm. if you don't really know what this market is going to look like? Our player base or our community members comprise of the Nevada player base specifically. So, um, you know, for European sites or other non Nevada sort of traffic oriented sites or communities, probably a little, you know, doesn't make quite as much sense for them. But yeah, for us, it just, you know, it's kind of a natural expansion, I think, just based on our presence here in, in Las Vegas and Nevada. So you obviously must know the Nevada Gaming Commission pretty well now. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, based on your discussions with them and just with your contacts here in Vegas, do you think that other states in the U.S. Um, or, or how do you think other states in the U.S. might make moves towards regulating online gambling? Well, I'd, I'd think that any other states that look to introduce online gaming within their states will look towards Nevada um, to draft their own regulations. I don't know if, if this will if it'll end up being a bunch of intrastate networks or if there will be some sort of collaboration between multiple states. I don't really know what it's going to look like, but I think that um, Nevada is definitely setting the example that others will most likely follow. Okay. So the, the million dollar question out there for the affiliate industry in the online gambling world is if they've been active in the online poker market 
in the U.S. in the past, are they going to be able to be licensed here? Is there any chance at all? Based on what you've gone through, what's your opinion on, on these guys' situation? You know, a lot of the financial background and the personal background has to do with involvement in um, offshore gaming, or I should say offshore U.S.-faced gaming. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's, you know, a lot of the talk around the industry. I, I'm certainly not a regulatory agency. I've only experienced it myself, and I'm obviously uh, following the industry very closely, but it seems that anybody with um, involvement in U.S.-facing companies is going to have a very difficult time if, you know, if it's even possible to get licensed. Okay, and so for somebody that is brand new to the online affiliate industry that is interested in promoting online poker and getting licensed, what piece of advice or several pieces of advice would you have for them if they want to go for this? Be patient with the process. It's a very long process. It's very tedious. There are um, you know, lots of information requests, lots of questions that need to be answered, but um, it's all for good reason and it's all because uh, you know, to, in order to uphold the standards that Nevada Gaming Commission has already set within the, the Nevada market already um, in the land-based industry and you know, carrying it over safely and securely into the online world. Well, congratulations, John. We are so proud of you and welcome to our world. Thank you so much. This is Becky Legiro with John Friedberg. Thanks for watching calvinair.com.